hair is very indicative of who you are, and I spend most of my movies in close-up, so it really tells you a lot about your character. The haircutters for me are, are like sculptors, you know, and it's, um, it's dangerous, because I always make a, a real strong statement with my hair. So once you cut, you've got to make sure that that guy who's doing the cutting knows what he's doing. I've been doing hair since I was 10 years old. My father was a hairstylist. Every kid had Game Boys, I had a clipper set, you know, cutting all the kids' hair. By 14, 15, started making a lot of money. I had 20, 30 people in my garage waiting for haircuts after school. 16, went to beauty school. 18, graduated high school, beauty school. Started working at Giuseppe Franco down the street. 24, opened my salon. The lab salon, hair science creation. One of the hottest, youngest salons in Beverly Hills. I have 21 stylists. Everyone learns from one another, which is cool. You know, versus a lot of the salons around town, they're all, the owners are 50, 60 plus. A lot of older hairdressers that are still in the old styles versus us, you know, looking all the new, hip, trendy styles. My movies are, are always dictated to by research, so I go out in the real world and I cast my people. The real people start me in terms of where I want to go in terms of my haircut, because whoever you are, you sort of adapt. Your hair is, you know, believe it or not, is very important to you. Know? And in my case, it's very, <laughs> it's very important. And then I go back into my books and my research, then I go to Danny. So I come to Danny armed with real people and armed with ideas based off the real people. Me and him will always talk about what's coming up next. Done, it's to be done, you're, you're gonna be doing it. I said, all right, cool. So he told me who's in the cast, you know, Travolta, Denzel, and what we're gonna do, and we'll just hang out sometimes, we'll go through his book. My Bible in terms of, and this goes back to Top Gun actually, then that was my second movie, haircuts were all important to me. And, um, and the, there's a black and white Bruce Weber book, which is all about you know, guys in the military, yeah, and with these, uh, this mixture of, uh, of military haircuts. We usually go through that book to get ideas, you know. We start from start to finish, we'll check, you know, go through all the pages. There's these two particular guys that he loves, which we base his little boy's haircuts on. He loves the shorter, the spiky, you know. He loves that choppy look. He loves short, he loves shaved heads. So every time we go through the book, we'll start doing some styles, and uh, at the time, I shaved my head off. It's kind of growing in right now, but uh, Tony just was like, it's perfect. And I had a goatee. He said, this is what we're doing for Travolta. Done. He goes, I love it. Sent in a couple of the girls that came, took pictures. They are like, so they used me as Travolta's look. It was tricky, because I talked about this character with John about shaving his head, and then he was at the uh, at the Oscars, and there was Denzel with his head shaved. So he said, "How are we gonna, <laughs> is this going to work out?" It was these just shaved his head now. How did he shave mine? That Travolta style was great, because Travolta hasn't done something like that in a long time. So it was cool. I think it was a good look. You know, it was, it was different. It was a rough edge. With D, he was really the guy next door. We honed his look, which is less extreme than John's, and we just let it grow out a little bit, yeah. But um, I was in a world of the MTA where lots of guys had facial hair and shaved heads. So it became a sort of character in the movie. I always like to, you know, draw pictures and always give them different, different ideas. And before the movie starts, I always get prepared. <clears throat> you know, anything I see in the magazines or I'll do somebody's haircuts, I'm like, you know what, this is perfect. Hold on. But it's cool, because we work so well together. The guy's a director, he's an artist, you know? And that's what I do, it's in the blood. We both have that in the blood, which is pretty cool. He's a unique talent, because he, as I say, he says, what do you want to do? Tell me, and then he goes, and he does it, and he's, he's the fastest cutter I've ever experienced, yeah? But a great cutter. My movies, I think, are always a little bit about heightened reality. So whether it's, it's the haircut, or it's how I crush my colors, or how I move my camera, um, it's all about heightened reality. So those haircuts are always in, uh, indicative and a heightened perception of who I think this character is. So I always reach for that little bit of difference and try and push and tweak that difference and that hair does it for me.